Hi everyone. Alright, let's get to it. Create a new composition by clicking on its icon. Right click. New. Solid. Make it comp size. On the effects panel search for audio spectrum. Double click. If your After Effects doesn't look like my just go to Window. Workspace. And then change it to Effects. Change the start and end points Y to 1000. Change the start frequency to 0 and its end to 250. Set the frequency brands to 800. Change the maximum height to 2400. Change the thickness to 5. And softness to 0. Change the spectrum's color to white. Now it's time to import your audio file. Go to the project tab. Double click on it and pick the audio. Put the audio file under solid. Click on the solid. Go to effects control tab. Change the audio layer to the audio you just imported. Change the side option to side A. Press Ctrl D two times to duplicate your spectrum. Right click on the middle solid. Transform. And then click on flip horizontal to make this layer different from the other one. Click here to see this layer solely. Change the start frequency to 50. And the end to 400. Click on the last solid. Change its duration to 80. Set the start frequency to 100. And it's sent to 580. Alright, now it's time to make the background. You'll need a colorful picture. I'm using this one, its URL is in the description. Drag the picture you choose to the Project tab and then drag it under all the layers. Go to the Effects and Preset and search for Fastbox Blur. Double click and change Blur Radius to 100 and the Iteration to 5. Check the Repeat Edge Pixels box. Press S to see the Scale option and change it to 116%. Press on the T in the toolbar and click on the screen type the name of the music you are using. I'm using Montserrat Extra Bold Font, it's a free font made by Google. You can download it for free. Link is in the description. Change the size to 180px. Align it. If you can't see the align option, Go to Window in the toolbar and click on Align. Make sure to change all the layers mode to Overlay. Except for the background one. That's it, good job. Press Ctrl S to save it. 